guys, keep them separated because we got stuff for the fireplace. We have stuff for the walkway. Oh no, that doesn't. No, no, that's for us. The base is still where the railings and stuff. Oh, wow, you went with slate for the capping? He got us the same price as the other stone. Well, to give Carl credit, what Carl was trying to do with that sill was he's trying to match the front walkway. But in terms of aesthetics, I wouldn't have put such a nice slate, expensive slate, on an outside walkout that needed work. So when Mike comes and talks to me about money, what do I say to him? We got it for the same. Yes, boss, I'm sorry, you know. We like, got it for the same cause as a cheaper product. The easiest thing for guys to do is spend money on someone else's dime, and I think that's where Carl was headed. He liked the look of it, but he doesn't have to pay for it. We always make it right. Well, you always make it expensive. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was looking for more expensive stuff, but this is about as expensive as I could find. I feel like that's a low blow. <laughs> What would I want to do first, buddy, is fill all the block, okay? It's not exactly great. I mean, you can see the joints have opened up. There's some dirt getting in there, but you and Sherry did a great job of getting most of it cleaned out, right? So we can start filling all this block with cement first. All right, now I'm just taking out this old broken block that was in here so we can uh, clean it up and then we'll replace it with a nice, sturdy, clean new block. That should slide in there nicely. Okay, so you're just trying to lay these slabs out so it's aesthetically pleasing, right? A bit more right there. Okay, so we're good. Now, what does that leave us with the rest of the space? A full one in about six inches. Oh, geez, that's horrible. We don't definitely don't want a six inch piece. Well, Derek and I were talking earlier and we were thinking if we cut this, this, this first piece and pull it up to so a two foot piece, put a bigger chunk in the middle and another cut on the end, that would probably make it look the best aesthetically. So start with your four piece in the center and then having equal distances with stone on each end. Yeah, break it up a bit. Done. Have a six inch cut. That's the best way to do this, guys. That's, that's a good call. All right. Good? Yep. Not bad, actually, right there. You like laying stone? Oh, yeah. Yeah? That's what I went to the high school for. Oh, is that right? My first co-op was at a stonemason. You're kidding me. <laughs> Mine too. I just found out today that Derek loves masonry. One of the oldest trades in the world, buddy. That's where I started. That's where he started. I might actually like him after all. Yeah, it's going to look real nice, eh? Yeah, it sure will. <laughs> Up against this lovely block. <laughs> On, off, prime it here. You get the gas in there. Just get your choke out and turn it on. You know, that is a big saw, and I don't blame Sherry for being nervous with her first cut. And that's why we're taking our time in training her. We don't want her to be nervous of it. Whatever you do, legs spread. Cut in between your legs at all times. Because if that kicks back, you don't want it to hit your legs. So if it does kick back, it's going to go through your legs instead, OK? It is my first day uh, using the big concrete saw. It's really heavy. Like I've carried it, but I've never actually cut with it. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. So as long as you're guiding her and teaching her what could happen, but not to be afraid of it and just have confidence in it, She'll be fine, and look at what she did. She was fine. So let's do me a favor, get me a piece of tape so she can follow the tape, okay? It was a little nerve-wracking because we only had the one piece of stone, so if I ruined it, uh, hey, Sherry's first time doing this. Oh, you screwed it up, way to go. So I was a little bit worried about it, but it was actually kind of fun to do. it over though. That's heavy. <laughs> that was good. See, you weren't afraid of it, you just did it. You scored it first and then just plunged it. I was like, she's gonna score it, then she's gonna walk away and like, nope, she's going right for it. You can keep that as a souvenir, eh? I'm good. No, you don't want it? 
So I'm gonna let you lay this one. I'm gonna show you what we're doing, okay? <laughs> By the way. It was my first day uh, laying stone because uh, I like watching it, but I've never actually been given the chance to, so it was interesting to learn. We gotta make sure our mortar is good, which it is, okay? Which means it can't be too dry or too wet. Too wet, you'll squish the mortar out. Too dry, nothing will grab, right? So what I've done is I've kept the mortar bed consistent all the way through, meaning I have the same amount of mortar under everything, so we keep a consistent height, okay? okay? Just like a tile, I want you to back butter that for me, okay? I love teaching people that want to learn. Sherry was totally excited to lay that stone. She made a cut, she wanted to lay it, so I gave it to her. We're gonna flip it like that, smooth edge on the back, and we're gonna lay it down, and you're gonna make sure that this is true right through, okay? So you're gonna take your little sledge, you're just gonna pound it down. What you're doing is it just like a tile. You're just getting everything flush. Now the only thing that you're gonna deal with with stone is that it's natural. You're gonna get humps, you're gonna get curves and waves in it. So it's true. You can't really get this level. As you can see on each stone, you can see how it's rising and going up and down, right? You're gonna get natural deflections in stone. So to get it perfect, 100% level, I don't care about it. As long as it's coming off of the house, running out this way, and running out this way, away from inside of the stairway, okay? Stone. <laughs> make sure you have an inch off your wall. And one last thing to do, make sure your backs line up. Now I don't want water sloping into this walkway. I want this sloping out so water okay, drains out. Okay. You want to see it leaning to one side of the line, okay? That's perfect, sure. I'm happy with that. You guys happy? Good. And that, my friend, is how you lay stone. Cool. Now you get to do the other side with Derek. We well, can see that walkout is very old. It started to heave, it started to crack, and they didn't do it right in the first place. Does it have life? Absolutely. What I want to do is add the cap to it. It's still got at least 10 years of life there and put a railing on. It's all about safety. No one said for me to do the walkout, but I'm worried about anchored safety in the end.